2600 spacecraft, um, all aluminium, a um, couple of Yanmar 315 horse uh, diesel engines. Uh, tell, tell, tell me about how it got built and why it got built. I love my boats. Um, I was that passionate that I had a, I built the company from nothing and our range extended from five to eight metres but I wanted a bigger one so this was a one-off build especially for me. Yeah. So tell me you know what you got put on it for you and what, what, what everyone's going to love about the boat. Uh, it's unique it's a great boat it um, weighs eight and a half tonnes so an equivalent boat in fibre is about 12 so it's far more fuel efficient. It's got all the best gear um, on it and built into it at the time of the build. Um, I searched high and low. The light fittings were all rectangular like light fittings. Um, it's got 50mm shaft. Rogers and Luff did all the uh, running gear, the stern tubes, the rudders, the shaft props um, because they were the specialists in the game at the time. Um, I did what I do best is build the aluminium side of the boat and the complete the fit out, um, leather lounges. Um, Tell me about the timber and the bathroom and the galley. The timber is Babinga, a South African hardwood which was built by shipwrights. Um, all specially done to uh, have a flush fit look. Um, nothing protruding beyond the um, cupboard faces. The bathroom um, it was more my wife's input. She said, yeah, you can have the boat, but I want a decent sized bathroom. I don't want a little pokey shower or anything like that. So we went all out and made the bathroom big enough to live in. The doors were all about um, having room in the boat and what happened doors hinging and, and banging and getting in the way. You can open the um, main saloon doors up to a full width, which is great. For entertaining, the engines are, I just had a look, they've got seven hours on each engine at the moment, um, so they're brand new. So, and tell me why uh, someone should buy your boat rather than, uh, you know, some of these other production boats. Oh, well, this boat doesn't compare with a production boat, this boat is built properly, um, no cost speed. Um, I didn't use any of the junky items that I see on all the other boats. I avoided them and I went with the best of everything. So how is she performance wise? What's she go like? She goes great, 24 knots, um, top speed. Um, but she likes to run between, say, 12 through to 18 knots. At the hull sits very comfortable in that speed range um, with minimal load on the engines. Um, due to the hull uh, shape. How's she ride at sea? She rides excellent at sea, very soft in, in the bow especially. So what sort of person do you think should buy her? Uh, somebody who particularly wants a flybridge um, with the elevated driving position so you can see over the side of the boat when you're in um, reef type water where um, you're likely to have obstacles, um, you want good vision somebody into their uh, fishing um, would be ideal or, or just um, lounging around entertaining having a few drinks it's a good all-rounder it's one to own